Hey, if you're anything like me and you've got an iPhone, you probably have subscriptions that you're paying for every month. And some of those you may have signed up for and some of those you didn't. And you're wondering, how do I cancel those subscriptions? Where do I find that information? In this video, I'm gonna show that to you and it's gonna start right now. <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Sean Seymour. I own a photography studio in Sacramento, California, and on this YouTube channel, I cover photography, but I also cover tech. And one of the things that I'm going to cover in this video is subscriptions. Where do you cancel subscriptions, whether you signed up for them or not? You notice that I'm wearing a sweatshirt, and that's because it's colder, my least favorite time of year. But I thought I'd come in and do this video because I have just figured out how to cancel subscriptions on my iPhone. If you're like me, you have some reoccurring bills, $2.95, $4.95, $6, whatever. They happen every month and they almost go unnoticed if you're not paying attention to your account. Well, those add up after a while and me, I wanted to cancel them. I, there's some that I don't even want. How do I find where I can cancel those? Well, the good news is you can do that right on your iPhone and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So let's jump into the settings on your iPhone and I'll show you where to find that and cancel those subscriptions that are reoccurring every month that you maybe don't want. The first thing you're gonna do is go to settings. And from settings, you'll see that there is you. Obviously, I'm called Sean Seymour, so mine says Sean Seymour. Now, one of the things that I did is I started scrolling through everything. I went to general, I went all over the place, and believe it or not, it's right here under your own name. So go ahead and click on your name right there at the top, and you'll see that it opens up essentially a profile for you. Name, phone number, email. This is where you can change all kinds of things. But look at that. Fourth one down is subscriptions. How cool is that? All right, click on subscriptions. This is where your active and your expired subscriptions are going to be. Something to keep in mind about canceling a subscription. First of all, subscriptions last until you cancel them. So that reoccurring bill that you're getting every month for four or five dollars, that's gonna keep happening until you cancel it. The other thing I don't like and I wish I could Oh, I wish I could really just nail these guys with it, is sometimes you end up signing up for a subscription just by advancing in an app. You press the button, okay, and the app goes forward. Well, they just signed you up for a subscription. So this is a really good place to come and check and make sure that you're not paying for subscriptions that you don't want. The other thing about canceling subscriptions is from the day you cancel it to your next billing cycle, you're going to still have that service. So you will see the cancellation actually take effect at the next billing cycle. In other words, you're not gonna get billed again, but you're gonna have that service all the way through. Something to be aware of with trials. If you're using a trial and you're on an app, the moment you cancel that subscription, they can cancel it and there is no grace period for you to go and get the data or get the photos or whatever it is you were using that app for. So before you cancel subscriptions that are trials, you wanna go ahead and save off whatever it was that you were doing with that app because they can cancel it right away and your content is gone. If you signed up for a trial and you don't wanna be billed, you also need to make sure that you're canceling that subscription 24 hours in advance of when you are going to be billed. Okay, going back to the phone, we've clicked on subscriptions. I don't want the Apple Music subscription. I have Pandora and I have Spotify, so I don't want the Apple Music subscription. All I have to do to cancel that trial is to go ahead and click on Apple, cancel free trial, confirm, and now it's gone, and if I go out here, I should see that that is no longer going to be an active subscription, but instead is in expired subscriptions. Now this Instasize is one of those subscriptions that actually fooled me into signing up. To advance forward, I hit okay, and in really tiny print it said, you're signing up for a subscription. Well, I didn't want that. But because I was able to find this and I knew where to cancel my subscriptions, I went ahead and I went in here and I canceled it. So that is why I suggest that you check every now and then what subscriptions you signed up for and cancel the ones that you don't want. Because while it's not a very big charge usually, sometimes it's only like five bucks a month or whatever, personally, I don't wanna pay out $5 a month for subscriptions that I don't want. Hey, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below. That tells YouTube to show this to more 
more people. If you want more content like this, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification will give you a notification when I have new videos coming out. Until I see you on the next video, cancel those darn subscriptions that you don't want and keep it simple, my friend. <laughs> wow.